Imagine a large bomb creating a 40 foot crater. What if we used a meteorite to make that same crater? This is because the solid meteorite has a high velocity which means high kinetic energy. The meteorite wouldn't have to be as large as the bomb and if the bomb was faulty then it could explode in your face by accident. Enter the railgun. It can do so much damage as current we weapons but the ammo is solid so it's much safer to transport. So how does a railgun work? There needs to be a large power generator, a pulsed power source, two conducting rails, and an armature that holds the projectile. One of the rails is positively charged, and the other is negatively charged. Current flows from the power generator to the pulsed power source. This charges the pulsed power source until the current reaches into the millions of amps. Once it is charged, the current flows into the positive rail, through the armature, into the negative rail, and back to the pulse power supply to complete the circuit. This creates a magnetic field around the rails and the armature. The magnetic field on the positive rail moves counterclockwise, and on the negative rail it moves clockwise. By using the right hand rule, we know the magnetic field is going up. The current is going across the armature, and a Lorenz force is created which propels the armature and projectile. The force can be calculated by using the equation force equals magnetic field times current times the length of the rails. So how exactly does one use a railgun in real life? Well for starters, the Navy has begun to test using railguns on battleships. They thought of this because the, the shells that are used for railguns are much lighter than those of traditional artillery shells. The ammo can also be fired at extremely high velocities which is helpful for long distance targets and powerful at impact. Another use is that in Reagan's Star Wars program. Reagan created this as a missile defense system for use in outer space. The reason why it can be used in outer space is because a railgun can be fired in a vacuum. Traditional combustion requires oxygen which cannot be found in outer space, so the magne magnetic uses of a railgun is very helpful. Railguns in the future can also be used to launch satellites into space.